Hello everybody, this is Richard with RCT Travels. Coming to you today from Alabama at our base camp. As I promised the other day in a short, I have a new product to review. This is not sponsored. I purchased this with my own money from Jackery. This is the Jackery Explorer 500. It is a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter, right here, okay? It is a solar generator. We have two solar panels that, as y'all seen before in a pre previous video, that came with our Explorer 1000, two, the two solar panels. This one here will charge from one of our solar panels right here with a 100 watt solar panel. It, is, it has a flashlight. Alright, and it also has SOS mode. Okay. Now, this right here is your input where to charge it. Here's your display screen, and we're at 62% right now because I have been using this uh, for the past two weeks constantly. I've charged it up twice since I've had it, two or three times. I've been I've run my CPAP on it. My CPAP will last a good day and a half, two days. On I'm, I'm just running it off this because my CPAP will has a ramp. It um it'll when it run, hits a, its maximum air that it um, it puts out, it levels off to right around 45 to 55 um, watts coming out. But it it ramps. It'll go down then back up. It's, so it'll last a day, day and a half, two days. I have used it one time. It, it brought it down to about 50, 45, 50%. Um, just this one. Now my 1000, it'll run it two or three days without charge. But this in here, it don't have that, that battery capacity. This is a one, uh, 500 um, watt, 110 volt AC plug with a pure sine wave inverter. You have, you turn it on right here. And I did buy this fan to test this out, to show y'all that it works. Okay, you got your three USB ports. You got um, three USB A's. This one does not have a USB C at all on it. So you do have three USB A's. All right, you have your DC, um, your 12 volt cigarette lighter. It's 12 volt, 10 amp. But you also have two six millimeter um, ports right here. Now, Jackery, I've not found anywhere online that talks about this, but Jackery sells a six millimeter to um, 12 volt DC cigarette lighter style plug on their website for $20. Well, not on their website, you have to call them. It's not nowhere on their website, but you call them, they do sell this. They told me to let y'all know it is $20. And it's two dollars. It was two dollars shipping to me in Alabama, from there, um, from um, where they they ship from. I, I don't remember where it came from, honestly. No. But it is twenty dollars plus two dollars shipping. It's a little light thing. It plugs in right here. It will convert one of these two um, six millimeter plugs into this. Basically, I cannot remember the um, voltage. I mean, the amperage on these two plugs, they're less than the 10 millimeter, I believe. Um, but this will accept a charger brick like this. This is a two um, USB-A charger, um, style charger, charger brick. And I'll, it'll go in right here. And the light does come on. It works. It's trying um, it's hard to see, but the light is on. You have to literally get in there because it's being light outside. All right. Also, you don't have to have this, but I want um, I want to do want do a review on it, so I bought it. Okay. And also, it plugs in right here perfectly. You know, like I said, it's light out here, so you can't see really see the light. It's a it's on. I can see it when I put my hand over it right here. All right. Let's turn that off. You turn on your um, your um, outputs right here, like for this one. Now the only thing with this unit, 
It does have a parasitic draw if you turn on the AC. You'll hear the fan come on for a second, but it has a continuous two watt parasitic draw with this AC. <coughs> it has to do with the inverter. I can't tell you why I'm not a real techie type person, but this, this thing is perfect for us, for our camping adventures. But I bought this right here at Walmart today for this video and also for our camping. I wanted, I wanted something that's small, less than, less than 100 watt draw. This one pulls less than 50 watts, I do believe, on high. We're fixing to test that. All right. It's wind, a little windy out here, so you'll see the fan already going. All right. You turn it on right here. All right. I'm not turning it on yet. That's just the wind. Okay, you turn it on. This is high. I mean, it's got a good, it's got good pressure. It's a nine inch little fan. It's perfect for a little camping trip. You're sitting outside in your chair, you want something to flow right on you. Perfect for that in my notion. This one pulls continuously. I've tried it out a few times. This is like the second or third time I've used it on this one. It pulls continuously 43 watts. That's less than 50 watts. So this thing would last um, at 100 watts an hour in the last five hours. So this thing would last about 10 or a little over hours, 10, 11, 12 hours, something like that. And this would last almost a whole day just with this fan on high. That's the only thing you're using it for is that fan. It'll last near about a whole day. It's pretty good. Now, it has three speeds. Now, this is medium. Medium only pulls 33 to 34 watts. It's fluctuating in between 33 and 34. All right, right there. Okay. Now that'll last longer than the other one. Uh, my mind ain't working right now, so I can't tell you exactly <laughs> how much. Now, when you turn it down to, um, to low, it pulls about 25, 26 watts. Let's wait between 25 and 26. That almost double what it run on high. It's real low. You know, if you don't need much air, you know, I usually run my hand, my fan on high. I have one of these in our bathroom in the house or in base camp, and um, you know, and this is the exact fan I bought from Walmart for our house, and I bought it today for our camping adventures and and for this video right here, and I and you'll be seeing this again in um, another video. I have a Jackery 300 I'm gonna review that I bought myself, and my daughter bought her an EB3A. Um, we also gonna review that also. Um, then none of these are sponsored. Jackery did not sponsor us with these at all. I would love to have a sponsorship from Jackery. Maybe we, we can get our uh, subscriber count up. So everybody hit that subscribe button, please. And hit that like button. Punch that like button in the face. <laughs> but I'm planning on doing a lot more camping videos. Um, I got a few products I want to review. Like I said, I've got another Jackery battery I want to review. I have a, um, I bought a Blue Eddy for my daughter, um, an EB3A, like I said a minute ago. Um, none of these are sponsored. All these were bought for with our own money. I wanted something that we can go camping, and as I call it, the Chimera, because it's, um, it's a cargo trailer that, I, that I'm in the process of converting into a camper but also have it the what I convert removable to be able to go um to use it for other things. If I want to haul stuff. Alright. But like I said, that's our video for today. Oh, one more thing. I forgot to show you. I bought this bag also to store this in. It's perfect for this thing. Alright. Inside this bag, it holds the charger cable. And I'm also going to hold this cable. Okay. All right. It, this um, this Jackery 500 came with this bag to store the cables. Came with this right here. It's a um, car um, DC car um, cigarette lighter charger for this. It plugs in right here. If y'all see that, it plugs in right there. Um, I cannot tell you right offhand what the charging times. I want to say 7.5 hours, but I may be wrong. Um, but that may—I think that's maybe what it is, seven and a half hours. 
to charge it. Uh, and my daughter come up with the idea of putting these um, hair scrunchies on our hair ties on here to keep the um, keep the cords together, keep them looking good. All right, it also comes with a AC charger brick that'll charge it up. And I want to say 7.5 hours with this also. Don't quote me. I believe it said in the handbook 7.5 hours. It's been a couple weeks since I read it. I need I needed to read this before this video, but I didn't. And like I said, it comes with this nice carrying bag that says Jackery. All right. This came with the unit. This right here did. All right. Now let's get to the other product I bought to go with this Jackery battery. Get that back in there. All right. This is the smallest carrying case Jackery sells. It comes like this. This is designed to fit the um, Jackery Explorer 200. The, um, no, the Jackery Explorer 280, 240, 280. The Jackery Explorer 300. Is it 240 or 280? I can't remember. It, it says it on, um, on the thing. Let me see if it says it on this. Um, carrying case small. It does not say which one it, um, which ones it carries. Okay. All right. But it, it'll, it'll carry up to the Jackery 500. This thing is perfect fit for this Jackery 500. I keep it in here. Keep the dust and everything out of it. This bag is water resistant. Do not submerge it. It will, water will go in it, but it will resist water. You get a little bit of water. If you get into a sprinkle, before you can get it in the house and it's in this, or get in your, um, your camper or your truck, it'll, it'll, it'll help keep it dry. It has a water resistant outer coating. But also, with this, I'm going to keep it in with this. Like I said, Jackery told me that you can purchase this directly through them. Call their own 800 number or email them. Uh, uh, their email is on their, on their website and they will sell you this for $20. This right here, um, I purchased my own money. It was twenty dollars plus two dollars shipping here in Alabama from wherever there, wherever it came from. I cannot remember. It's been a few. It's been a couple weeks. But two dollars shipping ain't bad. I will keep it in here with this to keep it together. All right. Like I said, this is Richard with RCT Travels in, in Alabama. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe, subscribe button. We'd love to have new subscribers. I'm planning on some cool adventures coming up pretty soon using these products. I gotta find a couple more items that's low voltage to use with it. Um, I'd like to have a couple more things like a, I seen a trucker's lunchbox I'm fixing to buy. I'll do a review on it. Um, I seen like a, a little 12 volt kettle that um, warms water. I like to use off my Jackery batteries. See what what we use, what what we do, what. Expect a few more um, product review videos. I have two more, at least two more product reviews to do. I may do the EB3A when my daughter gets back home since it's her power station. Let her do the review. But um, expect the review from the um, that was a Blue Eddy EB300 by the way. But um, expect the review from the. Jackery 300 pretty soon. I'll probably do a short on it like I did with this one, introducing it, and then I'll do the review later. All right, like I said, this is Richard with RCT Travels. I hope y'all enjoyed that uh, this video right here, and I hope y'all have a great day. Be safe.